Hey everybody, I made it. Oh, and I am late. Today, I'm late. <laughs> I apologize. Welcome to Faith and Giggles. Um, oh, wait, Jason sent me a text right off the bat. <laughs> oh, geez. I'm trying to read his text and try and do my opening. <laughs> I need a second phone. Okay, let me start over. Welcome everybody to Faith and Giggles virtual store tour. Woo! Cheers, cheers, cheers to all of that. <laughs> mm. I'm going to tell you about my wine in a minute. Uh, I mean, my tea. Um, yes, tonight I'm going to try not to make it too long. And here's why. It's not because I don't want to. Oh, I forgot to plug my or charge my phone up beforehand. And at like 25 minutes ago, I'm like, oh no. And I, it's still only like 38% charged. So it's plugged in now. It's in, it's plugged in because I've got, you know, I'm not mobile, but as soon as I unplug it, it seems like it sucks up the charge pretty quick. So I don't want to, that's what happened last time. I didn't charge it up. Okay. First I'm missing everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Sue and Lisa. And I missed everybody before Sue and Lisa. Oh, I see Cindy. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Thank you. Welcome to our store tour, Faith and Giggle store tour. What is today's date? December 2nd. So if you're watching this, I still have people, which I, lo I love this because this would totally be me. I still have people who will um, um, interact as if it's live, but it's like a day later or a couple hours later and they're like, oh, hi, Wendy. You know, like, the, like they don't think that, they're wondering why I'm not saying hi back. <laughs> But it's, so if you're watching this and it's not December 2nd, like if it's December 3rd and if it's Thursday or something, that means you're watching it recorded. So I won't be able to, but I will watch for your comments. I love comments. I always go back and check to make sure if there's anything I missed. I do that for a couple days. So, and I get, you know, I get, hi, Kimberly. Hi, Maureen. You made it. You love your new hat. Awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you came in and got it. Amber. Hi, Amber. Oh, I'm so sorry for everybody that I missed. When I, when I go back and look at everybody who said hi, then I always feel like, oh man, they were on too. I didn't see that. So I'm so glad that you do that, that when you say hi, then I can see that you are on. And hey, Mary, nice to see you on. Woo, we got a good group getting on. Awesome. Well, before we get started, um, okay, well, what the heck, let's have one more cheers because I didn't start yet. So I'm just starting now. <laughs> Hi, Judy. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell you about my wine. I'm not sure if I like it. I want you to know something. <laughs> okay, first of all, I got to show you my... Oh, you should just see what just zoomed by. It was like a little person on a scooter. But it wasn't a scooter. It was... Well, here comes... Hi. Standing here with the bottle and the... <laughs> For those of you who don't know, my door is right here to go to the sidewalk and people are walking by with their dogs and with their kids and they're looking at me. Look at me standing here, they're probably wondering who's the wacko in the Faith and Giggles store. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Do you, do any of you out there go to Solu during the summertime for the music and the wine, the winery that's, um, of course I can't think of the name of the town. Is it a little bit past Dundee or something like that? Right, Solu, they make their own wine. Oh, I love the place. Only been there once, but it's it was so much fun. And I know a lot of people go. And um, hey guys, <laughs> cheers! <laughs> oh my God, it's dog heaven out here right now. <laughs> you crazies. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so so here we go. I got the wine. I don't know. I think it's like a $35 bottle of wine. And um, that's what I'm drinking for you right now tonight. I'll have you know. So you, you people out here, you're nothing shabby. You're, you're my people. I broke out the good stuff just for you. So <laughs> Jason, <laughs> what? What did Jason say? Jason. Oh, hi, Wendy. Oh, no, Jason. Oh, he's jealous because I'm getting all the hellos. And no. All right, everybody. Say hi to Jason. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, you guys. So so that's what I did for you. I brought out the, the good stuff right here. See you, Scott. 
I brought out the good stuff for you guys. And I want you to know something. If you're in shopping today, I promise I'm going to get this ball rolling here pretty soon. <laughs> um, if you're in shopping today, now I'm not going to say I was cranky today. I wasn't, but um, I hope I wasn't. But I felt like I was a little off. I was a little, I was just tired today. I was so tired. I couldn't seem to shake it. And do you know what else? All I could think about is, is it seven o'clock yet? <laughs> so I can hang out with my people and drink my wine. Does that mean I have a problem? <laughs> That's how much fun I have with these things. So I am not tired anymore. I feel very fired up. So, all right. I am going to get started on a few things. I told you guys that I was going to talk about some um, St. Nick ideas. We're going to talk about um, some top, some, top of our some of our top lines that we sell for gift giving so that we can kind of do the thinking for you. Um, and I'm going to give you some insight on a few things that you might not know about. And we're going to talk a little bit about Midnight Madness briefly. And I've got another surprise for you and another surprise for you. So, okay, I've got a couple surprises. So here we go. Here we go. Let's start. Let's start with some um, St. Nick gift ideas. So I really will take you through the store in a few minutes, but I just, sometimes it's easier for me to just show you with hand when I, things that I need my hands for, because once I have the phone, you know, and then I've been drinking, it's all over. I can't, I can't do both at the same time, but I'm going to show you after I'm done showing you some stuff, we're going to go back to the tchotchke shelves, Jason's favorite area. And we're going to kind of start there because I think, I feel like there's more, um, St. Nick worthy items in that area. And that's kind of the focus tonight. And, and then we're going to head over there and we'll show you, I'll show you some stuff and then, um, and then we'll come back this way and show you other things. Okay. So, all right. Um, I'm going to start with just a few things that I think are kind of fun for St. Nick. I cannot believe that these are even here anymore. So these are these marshmallow candy Santa's treats. They're only five bucks. We still have some of these left. So they're like these little treaty things. Hi, Mary. Hi, Debbie. Um, they're all individually wrapped inside of here. There's, looks like there's six of them. And um, ooh, they smell good. <laughs> but they're not the sour ones. They're the marshmallows, but they're really pretty and decorated. There's a little bear and there's Santa. You can't see them all in there. So um, those are five bucks. I think those are nice little stocking stuffers. Um, we've got for the girls, all sorts of little scrunchies, sets of scrunchies for five bucks. So each there's three in a set. I think those are nice. We've also got, these are a little bit fancier. <laughs> They're like the, um, metallic -y colors. Do you see? Black and gold and silver and stuff, different colors. All right. Got these cute little barrettes for five bucks each for a little package. There's six of them. Those are cute little stocking stuffers, don't you think? Three babies high for me, please. I will be in next Okay, I, I missed who's ever message said about setting something aside, so I'm gonna have to go back on that. We also have the candy cane. So I'm gonna tell you it actually, and I don't know who I don't know who commented. I just saw this comment going by about setting something aside, and I don't know what it is and who it is, but I'm just gonna make a comment, especially for this seasonal stuff. So we're we're not able to hold things like that unless you're gonna pay for them, just because. If people come in and you're like, oh, all those you just posted are gone, and and then the person who wanted them says, oh, never mind, I really, I, I changed my mind, I got something else, and then put them back out, and then it's not fair, and okay, I don't want people getting upset. So the seasonal stuff, we really ask, like the things that we just have limited supplies of, we really ask that um, that give us just give a call in the morning with a credit card, pay for it. If you know what you want and you know you want it, it's not like, oh, I think. If you know you want it, just give a call. Jason is here in the morning, 262-397-8689, uh, 262-397-8689. Give a call and then he can um, take your information and then we can hold it 
until whenever you get here. Then it doesn't matter. So if you don't mind doing that, we would really appreciate it. We've had a lot of situations where they want people want things held and then a few days later they're like, never mind, and then it's like, it's seasonal and it's, I don't know, it just doesn't seem fair. But um, these are only five bucks for these little groupings of, well, okay, so they're peppermint sticks, but look at what it says, candy cane stirrers. <laughs> this could be an adult stocking stuffer. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking anyways. <laughs> okay, and then we have these cute little, those slap, slap bracelets. They're nine bucks each, but look at it, super glittery and jingle jangly and check it out. So there you go. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh yeah, I love these. Hey Dawn, <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> I wanted to invite you all in with your dogs, but that might've been chaos. <laughs> Dawn was the one <laughs> that just went by with all the dogs, Dawn and company. So anyway, so we've got those. They got little jingle jangles on there. All right, different colors. Those are fun. I love these. I've always loved these. Look at this, you guys. These little water globe pens. I don't know if you can, can you see them very good? It seems like the lighting is weird. So there's the tree. There's a snowman. I think you can see it okay. And a Santa. Anyways, those are $7. Those are really cute. Okay, this is something this I think is really nice. Okay, it's just a bell, right? It's one of the little believe bells, the Christmas bell. Merry chaos, Dawn. <laughs> Love that. Yes, that explains everything for me. Merry chaos. <laughs> it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> all right, so look at what says on what it says on the back of this. Can you read it? All right, I'll read it for you. It says, okay, let me see if I can adjust my glasses. <laughs> The night before Christmas is finally here. Before going to bed, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Let me try again, woo. The night before Christmas is finally here. Before going to bed, ring this bell loud and clear. This way Santa will know just where you live and just where to go. With this magical bell, you can always be sure that on Christmas morning, you'll find presents and more. I don't think I read that in a flowy, poetic way, like I was supposed to, but well, you get the point. I think that's a cute little gift, $5. Of course, socks are always good. We've got the snoozy socks. They've got the nice little um, skid, anti-skid little things on the bottom, um, the different colors. These are, and we have, you know, we have those real thick ones too. I'll show you those when we get moving. $10, but, I don't know, I love socks. My kids always got socks for St. Nick. Oh, here's a couple of really cute things too. So we want to, if you want to bring a little religion into the mix, which is really the reason of the season, of course, look at this cute little nativity. I think it's adorable. It's just, you can see it just fits in my hand, $8. So that's a cute little thing. And then these, my kids always got these too, whether they like it or not. I still send them these things once in a while because they probably have lost them. <laughs> Just as a reminder, so look at these little pouches of, okay, it says, keep Christ in Christmas. And then this one says, true gift of Christmas. These are both $8. Yep. All right, so the true gift of Christmas. Look at it, it's just a little baby Jesus. I just think this is adorable. So you can see about how big it is. It's, it's like a resin material. So it's cute. It's, it's actually very well done. And I always put that, I had one of those advent boxes or yeah, the boxes with the drawers and that would always be on the 25th, 4th, 5th, I think Christmas morning. And then this one. So this is, says keep Christ in Christmas and then this has got Santa with baby Jesus. I'm sorry, this camera, I always turn backward or the wrong way. So, so it's Santa kneeling with Jesus. Again, this is just little, but ceramic and nicely done. It's not, it doesn't look cheap. It looks nice. That's why it's $8. It's resin, kind of a nice heavy material. 
Hi, Angie. Hi, Mary. I missed a bunch of people again. Sorry, everybody. I will, I will see all of you. If you comment, I will see you all. Yes, Mary, everybody needs a baby Jesus. I agree. That's why I love that one. So they come in the neat little pouches. I'll tell you where they are. If you're, when you come in and you're looking for this stuff, just ask us because sometimes you just, it's hard to find everything here. You know, there's so much stuff in the store, but it's in the middle area display, like back in the middle of the store where, um, where we had the advent calendars and stuff. I think those are all gone now, but um, that's where those are in a little basket. All right. Oh, and I think that the best cheap gloves ever are like a great thing to put in um, like depending on the age, of course, of the kids, girls, or even boys, I guess could, oh, they're kind of girly. Um, and you know, young girls or older girls, you know what I'm saying? Or adults. I don't know if you do adult stuff, but, and look at this for the little babies. Look at the little sockies. Look at them. Look at the little socks. <laughs> These are super cute. These are $9, little socks. And they've got just, they're very, very, very soft, very soft, stretchy. Um, the age is, they're called festive feet. I love that for two to four year olds. So very sweet. That's just, just a few things. I've got so much more to show you. And I don't know about you, but when you were a kid, what did you get in your stocking? <laughs> I mean, all right, I think my dad's watching. So I'm just going to say, and this is the truth. I mean, I loved St. Nick. I am not going to lie. I loved St. Nick because we always had cute stuff in our stockings. But it wasn't about the stuff in the stockings. It was about the magic of it, right? All of a sudden, these stockings, we put them up, and then there was stuff there, stuff in them. And my brothers, I had two older brothers, and they would sometimes string up their G.I. Joes, like hanging, like or not the G.I. Joes themselves, but they would use like the ladders, like the accessories to their G.I. Joes. And they would, so it would look like the little elves were climbing up the ladder to my stocking. Like it was just all so much fun. Judy, yes, the socks, um, they do not have grippers. That's a good question. They are for toddlers. I think I said baby, but they are for toddlers. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> Alyssa, an orange. I know what's with the orange. We always got an orange too. Okay, you guys got to tell me what are some of the funny things you got in your stockings every year as a kid. I have to see if other people got big navel orange and candy canes. Yes, me too. <laughs> Why? Why the orange? That is so funny. And my dad's stocking always had like nuts. Like my, <laughs> I mean, St. Nick would always put... <laughs> The popcorn ball, Mary. Yes, absolutely. Yes, the popcorn ball. Oh my gosh, this is like going down memory lane. Jean, yes, you remember the popcorn balls. I totally forgot about that. What else, you guys? What are some other things you would get in your stockings? Gold coins. Yes, yes, the gold chocolate coins. Why did we all get the same things in our stockings? Was there such a limited amount of things for people to get? Oh. The nuts and the hard shells. You got it. Apple, orange, bananas, candy, coins, and a candy cane. Lifesavers. Wow, we all got the same thing, you guys. That is so funny. Oh, yeah, Jason always got coal. <laughs> Let's cheers. Let's do a cheers to the naughty little boys that always got coal in their stocking. Poor little fellas. <laughs> Deb Holton, you got lifesavers. That's because you were a lifesaver then and you are now. <laughs> oh. oh, that's funny stuff. You know what, you guys? Okay, this is, I'm gonna do our first, our first, okay. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do our first, um, it's not really a trivia question, but it's, it's the first thing that's gonna earn you a prize. Um, Cindy, you too. Orange, candy, nuts, popcorn ball. We all got the same thing in our stockings. Wow. And it kept it even. It kept it even. We go to school and everybody got about the same thing. Now, now look at, I'm showing you all this actual merchandise. <laughs> People put, I, I mean, my kids got good stuff too. So I'm just saying like, 
why, where did it go? Why didn't we just keep it like this? Why didn't we just keep it? Oranges, nuts, candy canes. Boom. Done. Happy St. Nick. <laughs> How did it turn into such a, <laughs> I don't know, such a process to me. Dad, yeah, Dad, you always got the call too. <laughs> You and Jason, <laughs> I married a man after my father. <laughs> oh gosh, you were a naughty boy too, dad, huh? Oh geez, yeah, mm-hmm. Who else, a pet rock one year? That wasn't cool, <laughs> Donna says. Oh, these are great. I can't wait to go through this tonight after I get my jammies on, I get home and get some popcorn or something. I'm going to go through all these comments. I'm going to be laughing so hard. Okay, you guys. So here's my question for you guys. Um, <laughs> Sherry road apples. <laughs> okay. Um, is Karen Langloy on by any chance? If anybody saw her pop on, could you just let me know in a comment? Okay. Hey, Kat, I see you're on. Thanks for joining. So you guys, this, wait, Ever since the cold, oh, okay, I'm reading. No, the cold, no, Dad, you're not alone. Okay, you guys. Karen Langloy was in the store the other day. Now, this is her story, so I am not going to tell the story because it's her story to tell, and I really didn't ask if I could tell it. But my question here is inspired by her and her husband, Steve, <laughs> and their gift exchange at one point, rather his, his gifts to her, which if... Somebody knows Karen, tell her to pop on here and tell everybody what her most memorable gift was ever because you will die laughing. <laughs> so that inspired my question. What, what was your most memorable Christmas gift? Now we're not, we're past St. Nick. We're talking about Christmas gift. What was your most, oh my gosh, wait, time out. Jerry, the Pez container. Yes, yes, the Pez. Yes, I forgot about that. Did anybody else get Pez? This is so enlightening. I had no idea that we all got the same stuff. This is great. I learned something new. All right, so um, I'm so excited. Look how close I'm getting to the camera. I was back here when I started. I'm getting so close, like right in your living room. You got a kissy doll, Sherry? Wait, okay, so is this for Christmas? Okay, so the question is, what is something most memorable? And it can be funny, weird, odd, great, wonderful. It can be just um, the most memorable gift that you got. And what I want to have happen is after about 10 minutes of this, hopefully I'll remember this, that I want everybody to start liking the other. If you can, if you can do this, well, maybe we should do this afterwards. Oh, I should have thought this through a little bit closer. But what I want to do is whoever has the most like so whichever most memorable gift which is like maybe the funniest or the the most um whoever we're gonna vote all of you out there are gonna vote you're gonna vote on everybody else's comments you're gonna vote on whose gift is like the most unique so to speak okay and it can be funny or it can be special or it can be whatever whatever you think is the most special gift of all of these the most unique gift or the most memorable gift of all of these different comments. Okay, does that make sense, you guys? So pop in your comments of your most memorable gift and then go on throughout this live and like people's, whoever's you think is the most memorable or the most special, the most unique or whatever, or the funniest. And then when I'm done tonight and I'm hopefully not drinking any more wine because I usually don't, I go home and I drink water <laughs> so I can function the next day. And then I'll count up whoever's got the most likes and then you're going to win a prize. And guess what that prize is going to be? Maybe I shouldn't show you because maybe you won't want to play then. <laughs> Pat, Cabbage Patch Kid, I think you said, um, Kelly, I think I saw that. Whoever wins gets the white elephant gift. This is actually very cute, I think. It's, it's called White Elephant. And it's one of those gifts that you take to one of those parties, but... How many of us are doing that this year? Not a lot of us. <laughs> but what you do is you, um, whoever wins it, then you, there's not a picture on here. Yeah, there is a picture right on the front. So you, you, every year you add something to it, right? So you decorate it, you write something on it, you sew something on it, and then you bring it the next year to your party. And then 
and then you pass it around again and it's kind of like one of those things it becomes just tradition so you can do it at your family christmas too you don't have to do it at the, the parties so um, that's going to be the prize for whoever's special gift or most memorable gift gets the most likes so i hope that makes sense and oh well whatever if it doesn't it's just it's just for fun okay <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna um, look around. Oh, 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 yeah. You're gonna, oh, do you see these bags behind me? Okay. Cat, you love the elephant? I know, I do too. I, I'm surprised we have any left. We only have a couple of them left. And well, now we only have one left because one of them is a prize. So if you want one, we only have one left. <laughs> or you have to win it. You have to win it. Okay, so uh, let's talk for a second about uh, Midnight Madness. Well, let's first back up one second. <laughs> I must be so annoying to you. I always like to remind people that um, if you're not comfortable shopping in the store and you still see things here on the store tour that you want to purchase, um, that you can private message us. Most, the most efficient way is call us, 262-397-8689. Give us a buzz. Give us a call between business hours, 9 a.m. to 6 a.m., Monday through Friday. 10 to 3 on Sundays. Wait, I said that wrong. That's only that's only six days. <laughs> Monday through Saturday, 9 to 6. Sundays, 10 to 3. I think I said that right this time. All right, give us a buzz and um, let us know. We can do credit card. We can do a curbside pickup. If you just want to pull up and call us, we'll run it out to you. No problem. We're happy to do that. We can ship it to you. We go to pack and ship. So whatever the cost of shipping is, is what you are charged, or we can deliver it to you. Now we have some elves that have offered to help us with deliveries. We will utilize them if we must. Otherwise it might be Jason. I don't know, you never know who might show up on your front porch if you have a delivery, but um, the point is, is that we want to get things to you if you want them. So just give us a call and we'll, we'll work it out. All right? So for a second, let's talk about Midnight Madness, December 11th. How is that going to look this year, right? Have you been here for Midnight Madness? Has anybody out there, I know many people on right now have been in here for Midnight Madness. And I will tell you, that's an important day for us because when we order product in the beginning of the year, like January, February, March, before a pandemic takes over the country, we order lots and lots of stuff. And we look forward to Midnight Madness because we sell lots and lots of stuff. It's a big part of how we pay our bills the following month. <laughs> so it's an important date. However, we also wanna be safe. And this is a real um, struggle trying to figure this out. Now we did a, I feel like we did a great job for um, uh, Small Business Saturday instead of the Saturday, as you saw me last week, most of you, I was on every day of the week giving away stuff. We spread the whole small business thing out the entire week so that people could come in and shop comfortably without people in the store. And it was Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesday. Wednesday was busier, Sunday. We had some days in there where, that were, were very comfortable shopping. It was busy on Saturday, but you had that option that you, you didn't have to come in on that day to get all the specials. We had specials all day long, all week long. That's kind of the idea we're talking about for Midnight Madness. We're going to have specials. We're going to have sales. We're going to have the gift card giveaway. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, we're not going to, you know how the typical idea with Midnight Madness is that the deals get better as the night gets later. That's why we have so many people crammed in here once we hit like 8, 9, 10 o'clock. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, darn, I need another sip of something. <laughs> And so we're trying to figure out how can we do this? How can we do this so that if people want to participate, that we can kind of thin out that evening crowd and people can still participate. So here's what we're going to do. We don't have all the details yet because <clears throat> I'll let you in on a secret. Jason and I are a little bit not, we haven't completely, completely came together on one 
<laughs> idea of how we want the evening to go or the day to go. We've got a little bit of a differences of opinions, so we're still working that out. This is very unusual for us. Usually we've got it all, we're like, yeah, 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 we get, we, we, we're on the same page, but, but, but what we both agree on is that we need to make there, we need to make it different. We need to have options and we need to make it a little bit safe. We need to make it safer. So we're going to be spreading sales out throughout the day. So what's going to happen is it is not going to be advantageous for you to come between 10 and 12. You're not going to get any better deal between 10 and 12 than you're going to get between nine and 10 o'clock in the morning. Do you know what I'm saying? Like we're going to have sales, whatever that sale is going to be. And let me tell you, look, I'm itching my nose, <laughs> my Rudolph nose. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Our hours that day are going to be 9 a.m. to midnight, okay, December 11th. And our, our sale that we're going to have, which I will be revealing on our Wednesday night Facebook Live next Wednesday, we're going to give you all the details. But what I am going to tell you is we're going to have sales all day. So if you're planning to come in and shop it, please know that you can come in anytime throughout the day. And I don't know how it's gonna all look or how busy it's gonna be. I don't think we're gonna have a lot, but we might. We might have more people um, in the mornings or in the, I don't know, I don't know. We're all kind of on uncharted waters, but what we do know is we're gonna do our best to make it as safe as possible, spreading out the deals all, all day long. We're gonna have doorbuster specials, which means we're gonna break them up. We're gonna have certain products that we're gonna offer at a really reduced price like a whole bunch of them, like door busters, you know? But we're gonna do that, we're gonna, we're gonna ration them, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have a portion of them starting at nine, and then we're gonna have another portion of them starting at six. We know that too. Um, we're gonna have the gift card giveaway that we are famous for. We give away $300 worth of gift cards throughout the night, and throughout the night, later, as the night gets later, the gift card gets bigger, only we're not gonna do it that way. No, no, we don't want you to have to come in late at night because we, we don't, it's packed. It has in the past been packed. We want people to feel comfortable coming in. So you have to make a purchase to get entered into the gift card raffle. But if you win, if we, if you, if we pull your name, which I'm not sure how many times we're gonna do that, we're gonna have probably more than $300 worth of gift cards. We're probably gonna do more. They're gonna be in random amounts, in an envelope, in a bucket, in a basket. So we're gonna pick names probably every couple hours. I don't have those details yet. You're gonna have to watch next week for that. But. We're gonna pull the name. If you're not here, we're gonna reach in and pull out a card and that one is gonna be yours. And it might be $10, it might be $100, it might be $50, but it's gonna be random and it's gonna be throughout the day and night, okay? So that's gonna be good for some and some people are gonna be like, oh, but either way, that's the best we can do. We're gonna try and make this something where everybody can participate safer. So follow us, I mean, follow us on Facebook, but also, hi, Julie Bump. Um, follow us on Facebook or um, just for, for sure watch this live next week, Wednesday, because I'm going to give you a lot more information. We have all the details I earned out. Okay, and guess what else I'm going to do? Okay, I know this might not be a big deal to some of you, but to me, <laughs> this is special. So, you know, everybody seems to love our gift bags. We do the bag. We put everything in a bag with tissue and our little sticker and a bow on it. But when it comes to Midnight Madness, we bring out the really fancy bags. We, we pop for some more expensive, fun, decorative bags. And usually we, we, we don't start those till Midnight Madness. So look at the bags. We've got the bags. So this year we got, these are the big ones. They have limited options for the really big bags. So this is kind of a pretty little, um, you can kind of see whatever that pattern is. This is the this size bag. Look how cute this is. All right, and then the different sizes. We've got all different styles and, and oops, this way. <laughs> so these are the bags that we're gonna put your stuff in when you come in shopping. And I told Jason we would start that on Saturday, but you know what? We're starting it tomorrow. What do you think of that? We're starting these bags tomorrow. And we're not gonna wait till Midnight Madness. We're not waiting because what if, who knows what's gonna happen in this, year of 2020. So we're starting with these bags starting tomorrow. How exciting. You come in shopping, everything's going in there and there's no extra charge for that. Okay. All right. Um, oh 
my gosh, I feel like I've got everything I need to say. Let's get started. Let's, let's get going. Let's get going. And I've got a couple other trivia questions too, but I'm going to wait. Um, oh boy. I hope I have enough battery life to get us through. What time is it? Okay. How's everybody doing? Are we okay? Do we need a cheers? Do we need a cheers? <laughs> Did you see my mug? Did I show you this? I can't even remember. I'm sorry. We don't sell this here. Look at this. How cute. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is not, I'm not doing a very good job of this. Jason, I think Jason, you gave this to me, didn't you? Yes. Okay. So obviously you get, you get the point. I like dogs. What can I say? Wait, do a flyby of the puzzles. I don't know who's asked me that because it's zip pass. Cheers, Joe. Cheers, Mary. I don't know. Yes. You're cheersing me with a beer. Yep. That's good too. <laughs> All right, I can do the puzzles. All right, I'm just gonna clean my stuff up here so I don't trip on it because that's something I would do. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right. One more cheer. <laughs> all right, now here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put you on this, on my little selfie stick. So it's gonna be just a little wobbly for a second. And then I promise I'm going to be very good. I got to take my glasses off, though, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to try and do this without wiggling too much. Hang in there, everybody. Hang in there. Okay. Okay, oops. Oh, now you're going to look at me really close. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. I am. I almost got it. Oh, geez, this is the worst part. Okay. Okay, here we are. I think I've got us situated. I am going to start out right here because I think one of the prettiest spots in the store is, okay, real slow, is the front when you first come in. I just love the front entrance area. And I have the lights a little bit low here so that you can see. How pretty it is when you first walk in the door. I see I have something turned off on accident here. Oh, I have to fix something real quick here. There we go. Um, this is supposed to be on. This I thought we were out of this, but we have one more. So this candle comes out and it's battery operated. This wreath, look how pretty this wreath is. We had, I think, three of them. Oopsie, sorry. No. I just turned it back on. You just have to twist it. But look how pretty. I love that. And this little lantern is $39. Oh, I, I should be giving prices if I can along the way. $44 for this wreath. $39 for that cardinal lantern. We sold one of them. We just have this last one left. And this is this bell. We still, we've been selling these too. They're $24. They're so pretty. And you know what? I didn't know. Oh my gosh. One of them is a snowman. One of them is a cardinal. There's different ones. I didn't even really realize that. I should know these things. They're $24, but they're battery operated. Really pretty. I just have to show you my little friends here because they're so darn cute. Oh, they're little. $13. I've got some angels left yet. These these angels are really pretty. AAA batteries, $21 for those. But just look how pretty this looks. Okay, I know somebody... Oh, hi, Kim! Yes, you're on, you made it! Woohoo! It's my good friend Kim, a.k.a. Kitty. Kitty's going to be here on Midnight Madness. We still have... Some of our night lights, and I think Jason, did you sit, did you order more of this snowman? Because we're running, we're almost to the end of these. We I think we only have one or two left. It's got the little fan in there. I love this night light and this cardinal. They're both, I think they're $30 for the cardinal and 35, 35 for the snowman. But all of these are really pretty. We still have some Times products left, candles, diffusers. 
um, air fresheners. Oh my gosh, look at this big, huge one, you guys. This is this is a $99 candle. <laughs> Four wicks, look at, I mean, if you ever buy um, Times products, you know that these are really a little expensive, but they're so good. They, they burn really great. They smell amazing and they last forever. So that's really a special gift if you wanted for somebody. This tree has a lot of cardinal type things on it, but I don't wanna spend too much time on the ornaments because I have, oh, there's just so much. Remember I told you my battery, I'm a little worried about, so. Um, look at these guys though, they're new. Oh, look at these sweeties. Oh, love birds. Oh. Okay, somebody asked about the puzzles. I'm sorry I didn't see who that was, so I'm gonna zip over there real quick. This is what we have left in puzzles. We've got, I'm just gonna kind of scan through here. Little puppies. That one's a hundred piece. Oops, 500. Got the popsicle puzzle. A little cow. 25 piece more for little, you know, kids. 35 piece. Okay, so that's what we have right now in puzzles. <clears throat> now, if you're looking for St. Nick gift ideas for me, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We've got these fun wine glass writers, gold and silver. It comes as a set for seven bucks. <laughs> just saying, it's kind of a fun gift. You still got some real cute little water gloves. These are nice too. It's better than nuts, I think. I don't know. Better than those big walnuts or an orange. <laughs> these are really cute. I don't know if you see these when you come in. Um, okay, so it has to be dark and the lights are too bright in here. But look at, it's like a canvas. Oh, Jennifer, I see. Okay, you're the one who asked. You're welcome. Oh, this just doesn't do it justice. They're canvas with little lights in them, battery operated. $18. This is the same thing. It's about an 8 by 10. But it's that light is lit up, and there's like the little stars. It's super cute. I'm just right here, so I'm going to show some things. Jesus Calling for Christmas. Have you seen this book? If you have watched other lives, you may have seen it, but... This is beautiful. This is really is a special gift. If you see my Jesus Calling posts that I post, this is the same author, only this is more of a seasonal. There's one for Easter as well. But the pictures are beautiful. It's from scripture. There's different things, all different little stories or different things from scripture. It's beautiful. It really is a nice gift. There is $16.99. We have more than that. We have more in the back, I think. Okay, I'm just going to show a few things that are nice St. Nick gifts while we're up here in the front. Oh, I got to just, I'll tell you what, I would like one of these in my stocking, although I do already have this. So remember this? This is the um, projectors. And I, it's, ter you cannot see it very well, but you can s look at, this is what it does on your ceiling. How fun is that? Both of my girls got one of these over the Thanksgiving weekend, or on Thanksgiving, because we couldn't see them. We, we did a virtual Thanksgiving, but we did do a, do a road trip and dropped off a, a package of food and, and some things. And this one's a nativity scene that's on your wall, on your ceiling. It's gonna, you know, obviously it's, for, it's on your ceiling and it's battery operated or plug-in. They're super cute. I can't believe this is still here. This wood cutout, battery operate. It's so beautiful, but it, it's a little expensive. But look at how beautiful this is. Lit up on a mantle or something. It's $89. It really isn't, that really is not bad for this detail. It's beautiful. Okay. This is something too. Your cats would go nuts. 
Oh, yes, with those, like a laser print pointer. Yes, Manuela, that is funny you said that. Hey, Sally, nice to see you on board. I think that these are super pretty. Little ornaments. I'm surprised we have any of these left either. Nativity ornaments. So sweet. Here is another one of these wooden cutouts. This one is really pretty seen too. Okay, so here are some more of those little candies I was telling you about. This is what we have, plus the ones I had in my basket. So we don't have a ton left. Oh, and then this is a cute, this is also a nice adult stocking stuffer. They're light up wine charms. Look how cute those are. Battery operated, they change color. That is something I would like in my stocking. All right, and they just twist on, twist off. We got the reindeer and Santa snack mugs. So you can, this is for Santa. You put the cookies in there, put the milk, and then the reindeer is the same way. Those are cute. So I just wanted to show you those while we're over in this area. Whoops. Just tripped on my glass of water. I told you that I drink responsibly and drink water with my wine, but I almost tripped on it. So <laughs> these are cuties too. Little spatulas for making bacon cookies. <laughs> okay, so what I told you I was going to do is take you in the back for St. Nick's stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just let you look as I'm walking back that way very slowly so you don't get seasick. I'm going to show you a couple things along the way. Some sparkly things. These are really cute. These cardinal votive candle holders. I'm, those are really nice. And these are kind of neat. These are really neat too. You put a candle in there. You could even put some lights in there. That's a tree. Like It's got the little handle. Kind of rustic-y for a cabin look. You know, that that look. And they're they're really not expensive. They're only... $20 for those. So it's pretty good size. It's about a four inch diameter, the glass that's on the inside. And then this whole thing is probably six or seven inches. So, okay. Got some Christmas cards left. Really nice box Christmas cards. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. While I'm right here, I'm going to show you some of um, Marsha, our friend, local artist who does these beautiful ornaments. She's the one who also does the bottles. The hand-painted bottles. But look at these gorgeous hand-painted ornaments. She paints all of these by hand. Can you see the sparkle? They're all real glittery. Look at how beautiful the faces and things are on these. I just think they're gorgeous. Oh, so much detail. $14 for the ornaments. Uh, we didn't really see the bottles. I don't think I showed you those yet, but we'll get back up to the front. But here's her, um, these are from her as well, $14. Hand-painted balls, ornament balls. <laughs> okay. We've also got some other handmade ceramic type things. Look at these little bird houses. Our friend Nan here from the Hartford area. $18, but they're just, oh my gosh, you guys, they're adorable. You cannot, I don't know if you can tell, and here's another one. What a neat special gift. But see, some of this stuff gets lost in the shuffle because we've got so many things here in the store. You've got a bird lover or something. I just think these are so cute. More cardinal and things and little woodland friends. We've got some musical um, ornaments on this tree. Okay. Okay. Oh, did you see this one? <laughs> I've shown this before. <laughs> oh, I need an extra hand. Okay, I'm going to do this because it's so fun. All right, everybody, you ready? Watch. When I first un looked at this and brought it downstairs, look at, there's no nose on that snowman. Look at the dogs got it. And then I was like, well, how, this is a defective. There's no arm. But look at, the dog's got that in his mouth too. Look how funny that is. I love this one. 
This one's $48. Ah, those are cute. Okay. We've got a ton of old world Christmas ornaments. If there is something special you're looking for, a sport, um, a, in a, a profession, um, an animal, a, it's whatever, you let us know, because I am not going to go through all of these, but I did do a video a couple weeks ago where I did really focused on the ornaments. So you could go back to that, scroll down to some of our videos, and you'll find that I did one with all different old world Christmas ornaments. And um, you'll see really a lot more. There's really so much stuff for kids. Honestly, I'm so proud of this line. This line is just beautiful. And we've invested a lot of money and a lot of time into it. And we really are having fun seeing people enjoy and laugh and say, oh my gosh, I can't believe there's that and there's that, you know? And so that's been a lot of fun. All right, since I'm right here, I'm gonna say one of our top give, gift giving lines, which always is crazy at the end, as seems like as we get closer to Christmas, the whole Ginger Snaps interchangeable jewelry line. I gotta believe most of you under, know what this is, but for those of you who don't, I always like to just make sure to tell you so that I don't assume you know, but you can see that there's all these different pieces there's all these, hey, Karen, you bought the shark for your grandson. How I, oh, he doesn't know yet. You're probably giving it to him at Christmas. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that's a good one. I like the shark. So you pick a piece, like say a bracelet. This is the one I like to wear. This is one of my favorites. And then you pick a snap. How about we go for Santa? We got lots of Santas in there. And then you pop it right in there. And there you go. You got your bracelet. And then guess what? You can change it. You can put in a snowflake or one of many, <laughs> many colors. You can do initials and birthstones. We've got drawers and drawers of different snaps, which are, the snaps are $6.50 each, and the pieces are sold separately, all individually marked. So look at, you can tell that we have just a huge selection, bracelets and necklaces and earrings and things like that, lanyards. Oh, oh, I got to tell you, I'm trying to make my way. <laughs> I'm trying to make my way back to the tchotchke for, for St. Nick ideas. But last week when I did the store tour and people were asking me when we got to the dips and stuff, if there were one, I'm looking at my list here. If there were dips that were um, low salt, or no salt, but mostly, oh my gosh. Um, gluten-free. That's what it was. People were wondering if we had gluten-free dips. So I promised that I would do a little research and find out, and I did. So I'm going to show you what I came up with. And hi, Mary, you're watching. Um, you can see that we've got, okay, this is where we have our hot spiced cider set up. And you're welcome. We're, we're going to just do this probably every day until Christmas now. We've got, you can buy them by the carton, $4, but we have free samples every day. This is our little hot spiced cider station. Aspen cider spices. <laughs> That's a lot of to say. Okay, but here we have all these dips and things. This is really a huge line for us. All sorts of things you can see there. We've got all of these on here, but here's what I wanna tell you. Um, I have a list. I have a list of things that I made out of the gluten-free pizza dip, buffalo wing dip, BLT mix, guacamole. Those are all gluten-free. I was kind of in a hurry, so there's there may be more, but um, I want you to know that there are some options that are gluten-free and also um, no MSG. I found a whole bunch of them and low salt, like no salt added. So I, I want just to let you guys know that Hey, Mary, yes, you're in time. Hi, Becky, thanks for joining. So so just so you know, there's some options there if you have something um, that you need special ones. So just let me know. Oh, oh, what I wanted to tell you is, if you are interested in these gourmet dips, make sure that what you can do is you can go to uh, Country, oops. oh, I'm sorry, it's backwards. Stay, hang in there, hold on. There, you can go to 
countryhomecreations.com. You can go to the website actually, and you can see the different dips. And you can see, they will give you details on whether they are gluten-free, no MSG, all of those, you know, I'm vegan. There's like vegan ones, wheat-free. Some of them aren't gluten-free, but they're wheat-free. So, you know, you have options there. All right. This brings me to something special. Okay. Our Firefly uh, Handmade in Guatemala Swarovski Crystal Line has been a huge huge line of ours since we opened really. We really just started with a really tiny crosses, which I'm gonna show you here. And, um, oh wait, who just asked for prices of what? Becky, no. Who asked for prices? Uh, Mary, prices of the dips are $6. I think that's what you asked. Okay, so when we first started this line, we started with these really tiny crosses. Look how beautiful. Swarovski Crystal, handmade in Guatemala, fairly fair wages to the indigenous people of Santiago. Oh, I shouldn't even try and say this. Okay, it's in Guatemala. I can't, I can't say the, where the, the town they're from. <laughs> okay, but look at this beautiful jewelry. So these are some of the crosses. $48, $46. This big one is $48, or uh, excuse me, $84. The prices differ, but they are a little bit, they probably range from $40, $40 $46 up to $80. The little tiny ones are, how much are the little tiny ones? Hold on. I got to find the price of the little tiny ones. Oops, I'm sorry. My arm's in the way. I see 32, so I think that's, I don't know if most of them are 32, these little tiny ones. Then they go to 40 for the little bit, some of the bigger ones. And then it goes up from there. But look at some of these beautiful pieces. I'm gonna tell you something, if you want a piece of this and you think your husband <laughs> would be buying it for you or somebody else, I'm sorry, I just assume husband, but that's not. Andy, yes, you get compliments. I'm going to tell you, when you wear this jewelry, you're going to get compliments. It's so gorgeous. Thank you for that, Andy. Um, look at some of these pieces. But there's one, most of them are just onesies. They're one of a kind. If there's something you've seen you like, screenshot it. Send it to the person you want to buy for you. And send them immediately to Faith and Giggles. Because <laughs> this is a line that goes fast. Or just come and get it yourself. Because I don't know why you're waiting for somebody else to buy it for you anyways. But... <laughs> I know, you know, you just try to, you don't need it. It's on the, it's not on the need list. It's on the want list. So then we try to save that for somebody who's looking for a gift idea for us, but send it to them right away so they can come and get it. Have them give us a call if you want to know the price, 262-397-8689. I'm sorry to try and give you prices for everything. It's going to take a while. You, or ask in the comments if I will go back through and we will answer anybody's questions about prices and things like that, sizes, chain sizes. Oh gosh, I'm doing a terrible job showing you this. We need a hand model. <laughs> These hearts are beautiful. They are so gorgeous. All of it. And then there's earrings. So this is one of those lines that it's here and then it's gone. And this is a this is a line that when guys come in, we direct them to this. I'm looking for something for my wife. Yeah, we're like she's going to like this line. And then they grab it. So it's, you know, stuff goes pretty quick. This is one of our top gift-giving lines for sure. Firefly jewelry, including ginger snaps like I said. Okay, I'm going to move on from there. But I am going to ask, I think I'm going to ask a question right now. All right. <laughs> okay, you guys. <clears throat> so the, the, the prize, I'll show you the prize right off the bat. The prize is going to be, I know you missed the glasses I was wearing. One of the collection sets, Franciscan Peacemaker. Oh, God. Do you know what I just did? I just gave you the answer to my question. <laughs> 
I just did that because my question was going to be, what organization did I have on last night on the Facebook Live that I interviewed? And I, but I just said it. I just said it in my explaining the prize to you. I should have never done that. <laughs> so we have to scratch that. We're going to have to scratch that, that one. I'm going to have to come up with something different. Jason, you're going to have to send me an idea because I'm not able to think on the fly that well. I <laughs> can't believe I even did that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to move on to some of the um, St. Nick gift ideas. And we're gonna, <laughs> I'm going to hope Jason sends me, hey, Carolyn, I'm going to hope Jason sends me another um, question idea because he's good for that. All right, so here we go. Here are some more really good St. Nick ideas. So now I showed you, I showed you the slap bracelet, but I didn't show you the blinking, glittery bouncing balls. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> so you can see that it's blinky and glittery as the name says it is. Those are. <laughs> oh, Barb, thank you. You knew the answer because you were watching. I know I appreciate that. Dang it, I blew that one. I'll come up with something else. Blink. We're going to do another another question for that same prize in a little bit. Okay, so here's those little balls, $6. We've got the Miracle Melting Sloth. And, of course, the Snowman, which has been around forever. <laughs> Andy, you knew the answer, too. You guys are awesome. You are on last night. I really, really appreciate you joining our that live last night with the Peacemakers. Uh, a great conversation with Mary about what they do. All right, you guys, I think that this is a great gift for St. Nick. I don't know about you guys. It's not nuts. It's not an orange. It's not Pez, but guess what it is? <laughs> it's a screaming goat. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun. I don't know. I think this could be for a kid or an adult. I'm looking for the price. It's $9.95. I showed you the pens. There's also these hatching shark eggs and hatching fairy eggs. So all the hatching stuff, you put it in water, and then what happens basically is um, the, the water, the thing on the inside expands. It's one of those little squishy little things. It starts to expand and it breaks its way. We just opened that up so that you could see it, but it, it expands and it busts its way out of the shell. So it looks like it's hatching. And they're really cute. Ten dollars for the fairy and eight for the shark. These are those. These are always. We always try to have these. These are fun. Just these little water feature things. Eight dollars for the little one and twelve for the big one. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know what I didn't do? I don't have my Christmas music on. I turned it down before I started because I had to think about a few things. Otherwise, <laughs> Christmas music I can't think. So I'm sorry, I should have, I should have. Hi, Kim, you're on. Yeah, you have one of those screaming goats. <laughs> okay, you guys, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, the one, Chris Jason says, what is, okay. Okay, Jason, <clears throat> excuse me. I think I need more wine to clear my throat. <laughs> Jason says he's got another question. And I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, Jason. So, um, Jason, I'm going to ask you to send that text again so I can see it. But if I remember correctly, I was trying to read it and talk at the same time. Um, he said, what is one of the... Here's the question. Here's the question for... This collection set, the Gifts for the Journey collection set made by our friends over at Franciscan Peacemakers in Milwaukee. They serve women who are being exploited in Milwaukee, sexually exploited. Okay, here's the question. What is the one Christmas item Jason won't allow in the house? He thinks they are creepy. Oh, I have to think about that myself, but how is anybody going to guess that, Jason? All right, guys. Hey, Deb. Hi, Denise is on too. Hi, friends. <clears throat> so the question is, <laughs> ah, 
Jason, send me the send me the answer. So I think I know what your answer is. Okay, Sandy says snowman, gnomes. The the prize, elf on the shelf. The prize is <laughs> I keep guessing, you guys. A collection set. Okay, that's what I thought the, the answer was. Okay, I ah oh, somebody just said it. Yeah. <laughs> And she just said it. I don't think you meant to spell nutcracker as nutcrack it, but yes, that is the answer. And she just gave it. Jason won't allow Jason won't allow nutcrackers in the house because they're creepy. So um, that is the correct answer. Now, Angie, I just saw Rad Slag. Angie, you got the right answer. You said nutcrack it, but I'm pretty sure you meant nutcracker. <laughs> So that's the correct answer. If anybody else said it, so here this has happened. I always say this. I always got to give the disclaimer. I'll rewatch it. If some, I will check your timestamp, Angie, to make sure that you were indeed the first one who answered it first, and then you'll get that prize. I'll tag you. I'll probably do that in the morning, tonight or tomorrow morning. But that is the answer. Jason does not allow nutcrackers in the house, which is really not entirely true. Like if I brought a nutcracker in the house, what's he going to do, right? But the truth is, they're a little bit creepy to me, too. So it's okay. We're on the same page with that. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sandy, that's what you're going to get them for Christmas now? <laughs> that's good. Okay, I will let you know that we got back in. Um, everybody knows about the scout hats, right? Be prepared to be blinded. <laughs> The Scout hats have been a super popular gift. So this is another really popular one for Christmas. Um, this comes out. It's a rechargeable. You uh, charges This little cover comes off and it charges into a USB port. Really bright. Three settings. And we were out of... Uh, Barb doesn't like them either. <laughs> um, I'm not getting that in right. So if you come in tomorrow and you find a hat with this thing not stuck in there right, it's me. Um, so we were out of black, but we got the black back in, red. We've got the mustard yellow. We also were out of green. We got those back in. We got the um, blaze orange back in. We do only have this one um, camo, oops, excuse me, camo hat. I think that's on back order. But then there's the kids ones. So these are kid scout hats. So the hats I showed you are absolutely great um, gifts. These are now the kid ones. Again, that little light is super bright and it it comes out and recharges so you can wash the hat and whatnot. Also, and that's those are 16. These, the adult ones are 16 except for the camo and the blaze orange are 18. We still have some of the blinking hats. I think these are cute little Saint Nick gifts. So there's not a ton of the kids hats left, but there's still some and there's some scarves. And there's some adult ones, so if it's a bigger kid, they, they can use the adult ones. All right, and those are all the blinking ones. I, I feel like everybody knows these because I've been wearing them for all week. <laughs> right, so all the hats and scarves up here that I showed you, those all blink. All right. Oh, you know, this is also a nice little gift for the adult stocking woman, for the woman. <laughs> Barb, is there a special reason Jason's afraid of the nutcrackers? I don't know, Jason, is there? <laughs> Kitty, Kim says they're creepy. These are little lip glosses. So this, this cover screws off, and it just is um, a lip gloss. There's not actual wine in these, <laughs> just so you know. All right. Hey, Scott joined us. Another really cute St. Nick gift, or just any day gift also, are these little... Um, all of our holiday jewelry. I'm going to show you Jason's favorite in a second. <laughs> I think he knows which one is his favorite. It has nothing to do with nutcrackers. <laughs> but I think these earrings are so cute. Okay, they're all in the price range of around $12.99. $14.99, those are kind of the different prices. I am wearing these right now, I think. Yeah, I love these, $12.99. Really cute ones. Snowflakes, snowflakes, and more snowflakes. Necklaces and earrings, and there's different kinds of snowflake earrings too. Really, really just those you can wear, you know, all season. 
all winter, really. There's some angels, Christmas trees, really cute ones. This is really cute, too. Those These little Christmas pins are a great little gift. These are so pretty. Look at the little saying on there. All right, you guys, here's Jason's favorite thing that I wear, and I usually hold off until, I don't know, I usually wear a midnight mat. <laughs> Look at all these fun, stretchy bell bracelets. The, the bell necklace. Okay, so these are the things I wait until, like, midnight madness or as we get really close to Christmas so that I can keep my marriage happy and not have Jason going crazy by me jingle jangling. But these now, I think I've showed these before. Sandy is the long teeth and beady eyes <laughs> of the nutcrackers. I know. It's true. You guys, these are clip earrings. So if you have anybody who needs, who has clip earrings or wears clip earrings, look at the cute little designs we have for them. This is new this year because it's really hard to find them. And these are just really, really cute pins. So just some more. Oh, I was going to show you these over here too. Again, little stocking stuffers for the girls. Girls are so easy, but boys are a little bit tougher. Um, little Be Brave bracelets. They're these little string ties. You just tighten them, loosen them, but there's the different colors. Be happy. Be, be curious. Be brave. Be mindful. So there's all different ones there. And then these two, these are these little wish bracelets. The idea is that you put them on, you tie it, and then when it falls off, it says your wish will come true. But then there's all different themes there. And these are all just $4, right? Yeah, $4. Look at there's health, strength, new beginnings, positive energy, passion, love, beauty, success, Happiness, adventure, oops, sorry, good fortune, and then peace. I need a peace one. <laughs> so those are really nice gifts too. So, and then I showed you some of the, um, all the little headbands. So these are all great stocking stuffers. So really that was one of the things that we really... Oh, Cindy, you said the bells to midnight mass. I thought you said you wore the bells to midnight. <laughs> Ooh, well, probably not a good idea because <laughs> you know I would shake them. Um, I wanted to ask, okay, I've got another trivia question that before I go any further. You should see me standing here because I don't know which direction to go. I'm trying to stay focused. Yes, I'm going to stay focused because we did talk. We were going to really focus on St. Nick gift ideas, <laughs> but I'm going to also kind of take you through the store, heading back, um, yeah, back up to the front again after I'm done with this trivia question. So we've got the answer to what Jason doesn't like. He doesn't like that. Um, it looked like Angie had the correct answer, but I'm going to review that just to confirm, okay? But here's the next question. This should be easy because I've named so many. Name Three, and you have to get all three of these in one comment. Name three St. Nick gift ideas that I mentioned up until this point. All right, all in one. If you just have one, it isn't going to be it. You have to have three in one comment. I named a ton of things that would be great St. Nick gift ideas. So if you can just name three in one comment, you're going to win a $10 gift card and a melting snowman. <laughs> All right. Oh, and you can't see it because the wording is backwards, but trust me, it's a melting snowman. <laughs> this is one of those old, not old, but it's been around forever sort of thing. We usually have it on the counter so that you can play with it, but with COVID, we figured it wouldn't be a good idea to have something that everybody is touching and getting their germs and fingerprints all over. <laughs> so we don't have it out. I'm sorry, but I... I have seen, yes, I am seeing three things in one, in all sorts of things at one time. Okay, perfect. That's great. All sorts of stuff. Keep naming them. So basically, the answer has been given, but I have to go back and I have to review to make sure that I get the first 
one who had the times the earliest time stamp so i'll do that and i'll find our winner and the winner is going to be going to get a ten dollar gift card and the melting snowman all right <laughs> all right guys oh i do have one more spot i'm going to show you for this um for this i call it tchotchke stuff you know what i mean but jason's favorite areas but again really just focusing on the saint nick gifts here's a few more things and there's some stuff down here for boys or girls and look at some of this stuff you guys thanks for all the answers lots of fun answers i have stand the phone stand i have done a, a post on this guy before but look at this guy all right you sit you set your phone okay you can see how you can set your phone there and then I use that when I've got Furbo on, that's the, for the, the dog nanny cam, so I can keep an eye on the dogs during the day when nobody's home. But then this stuff, this is to clean your screen, like your computer screen, your phone screen. And then it's also a stress reliever. Look at, <laughs> it's real squishy. <laughs> so it's really, look at, it's got all these different functions, it's $4. <laughs> We've been selling these. Today I sold a bunch of them, actually there was, a lot more in here this morning. This is one of our fun gifts for guys and girls, but it's a really nice pen. It's six in one multi tool. It's a, it's a level. It's a measuring stick. Sound like an old person. <laughs> it's a measuring stick. It's a stylus. And then it's, it opens up as a screwdriver. You guys, I know I can't do it with one hand, but see, here's all the stuff it is. It's 18 bucks, but it's really, really cute. And honestly, the pen is very smooth. It's a very good pen. That's a nice little, I think, stocking stuffer. It's one of those mini personal alarms you hook onto your um, key ring. Um, these are those little um, screen cloths, like to clean your computer screen and your phone. And then it it's on a little pouch like this. It, it, you tuck it right into the little pouch, and then it hooks onto your key ring or whatever. And it's all the different styles. Three bucks for those. There's another light, magnetic light torch. Cindy, your husband loves your pen, his pen. Yeah, those are really cute. And this is also a fun one. This is an extendable flashlight tool. So this, I should have had it extended already, but it, it, it extends, hold on. Look at, so it extends and then it also bends. So you can, Look around corners. <laughs> All right. And then also it's three in one. So it extends and um, it's a magnet on the end. So you can pick things up behind like the stove or something if it fell. I mean, honestly, I have actually, I have actually used that for something before. So that's kind of a fun thing. These are just in little pens. These are only $6.99. It's a pen with a little Bible verse but it comes in these little containers like this. So there's all sorts of those kind of little tchotchke stuff, the back scratchers, um, card cling, you know, you attach that to the back of your cell phone case or the phone. I had somebody excited about the illuminating tweezers today. Showed her how they were used. <laughs> It literally lights up with a little button. You just click it and it lights up so you can see what you're tweezing. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. <laughs> okay, I just thought I'd just tell you that. Of course, we've got our whole bath and body line. 100% of your purchase goes back to the organization that makes this. I see I need to restock. We sold quite a few of it. We've also got gift boxes. I'm happy to show you pictures of more of what's in these gift boxes. Um, candles. This whole line is beautiful. Okay. You know, I'm getting hungry. I just thought I'd let you know that. <laughs> and when I get hungry, I, I might as well just get it. Oh, I might as well get another drink of wine. But I should show you. Oh, I got to come back to that. Oh, for kids. There's so much to look at. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right. Snoozies. Slippers are a great gift for St. Nick. All right, kid sizes and adult sizes, and I just restocked, so we've got lots to choose from. 
little kids. We've got some books. We've got little hand puppets. We've got rattle blankets. Um, we've got little board books. This guy's a little cutie right there. Merry Christmas. It's got all sorts of little things to touch. Um, if you remember the maybe book, we were out of it and we just got it back in. Oops. Jeez. It's a story about endless potential in all of us. I'm sorry for that bad camera work, but it's really a beautiful book. Alyssa, you have the llamas. <laughs> I have the dogs. Can you imagine that? We've got a wedding and family and friends section over here. We still have a lot of nice, really nice scarves and some wraps. Uh, I have a better shot of scarves, I think, coming up over here. Um, we still have some gloves, really pretty fancy lady gloves, as I like to call them. Oh, see, this is what happens when I am rushing around trying to get ready. Before I do these lives, I'm refilling batteries and things. And look at, I just left them right in the middle of the ground, <laughs> of the floor. <laughs> but here's some things too. I really, well, I, I never show, I always forget to show some of these glitter globes. I just think this guy is so cute. I don't know why some of these haven't sold yet. I just think they're beautiful. I think we're getting so used to the light up ones that have the fans and the lights. The old fashioned ones aren't getting as much attention, but I just think they're beautiful. This one too. I think this one is so beautiful. With all the little animals. These are like the, and they, they do actually have music. They don't light up, but they do have music, but I can't do, twist it right now because I only have one hand, but this is a really nice one of those wooden cutout. Look how pretty that is. So really a lot of water globes. <laughs> you guys, why are the three little elves still here? <laughs> three little elves are as help. Okay. <laughs> I just had to take a time out here. So Jason says to me the last time I showed these, I think it was a couple of lives ago. He says, why did you keep calling those little elves? They're gnomes. If you look at them, they're gnomes. You kept calling them elves. I said, I don't know. Let me look at that. I don't know. Why did I call him that? But look it. It's because it says the three little elves. <laughs> but look it. They are gnomes. I don't know why. But they're cute. They're kind of like a resin material. And I think the idea, it says, our favorite place to stay is nestled under your tree. We'll keep things tidy throughout your home and be back in our spots without you seeing us from. Is it kind of like a um, shelf on the elf? Don't peek in the presents. Just a bowl full of porridge is all that we'll need with a small pot of pat of butter on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm thinking that those are like a gnome version of shelf on the elf. But why are they called little elves if they're gnomes? So I don't know, but they're super cute. I have half a mind to take them out of the package and sell them separately because they're just cute to have sitting on a, on a shelf somewhere. So that might be something you find in our store coming up. <laughs> Not scary, but cracker. <laughs> what, Becky? Wait, I missed Nutcracker. Wait, I got to see your comment, Becky. Hold on. You have the gnomes. Nutcracker? You have the gnome's nutcracker? What does that look like? You should post a picture. <laughs> it's elf on the shelf, not shelf on... Oh, did I just do that again? Did I say shelf on the elf again? <laughs> Why do I get that mixed up? Hey, Debbie, you're on. You've been so busy with your art. Oh my gosh, it's great to see you. Here are the hand-painted bottles. Speaking of art, here are the hand-painted bottles by Marsha Gable here in Hartford. They're all $49 right now. Oh, I said that again like that. But look how beautiful these are. These are really, really pretty and special. Some of them are plug-in. Most all of these you see here are plug-ins. There are also some that she has done that are battery-operated. But here's some more of these little light up things. This is such a pretty nativity. 
Look at how cute this is. Shelf on the Elf. How? I did that the same thing the last time. I miss you too, Debbie. Why do I say it that way? That is so weird. $22 for those little guys. This is something new that we just got in. Mm, last few days. $32. But look, it's a plug-in nightlight. It's not... It's not... Um, it's got a cord, you know what I mean? That you plug into an electrical outlet. <laughs> Debbie, the bottle. Oh, I thought you said the batteries are lovely. Debbie, I just showed batteries on the floor right before you jumped on. And when you just said those bottles are lovely, I thought you said the batteries were. Like, I thought you were being funny. But I see that you were talking about the, bat the bottles. They are. They're gorgeous. They are so gorgeous. So we've got the cardinal lanterns that are battery operated and some of these we were out of and got back in <laughs> the shelf wait who said this sandy says she'd love it if someone would post a shelf on top of their elf on the shelf <laughs> wait, wait. shelf on top of the elf on the shelf <laughs> i deserve that sandy <laughs> i'd love to see that too <laughs> oh my gosh I don't know why I say it that way. I don't think when I talk during these lives. I just start talking. That's why I'm so comfortable with you all. And I just start jabbering. <laughs> you know, these are really pretty. These are these enlightened candles, flameless LED wax pillars. They've got this really realistic moving flame. I have one of these at home. They smell really, really good too. You wouldn't believe it. They're like vanilla scented. Those are beautiful battery operated. This is another battery operated. This one's really pretty. We ran out of this one and then we got it back in now. Oh, some more little guys, little cuties. <laughs> Our cute little snowman. This is really pretty. I think this is, this is a battery operated little candle lantern with all the little snow in it. Again, you guys, here there's more of these really nice, old fashioned y kind of snow globes. Oh, I love snow globes. Sandy, you like that candle, hey? Isn't it beautiful? You could fall asleep with that candle burning. It ain't going to burn anything down. <laughs> it's all just, our, you know, LED battery operated. These are really cute, these little guys. We've got lots of these. It's lit up, light up little snow globe, cardinal snow globe. Hello, little friends. These are my little buddies. These little wooden word sets, it's $55, but look how cute this is. Merry. That's all. It's not Merry Christmas, just Merry. I think that would be really cute on a fireplace mantle. They're probably about 10 inches tall or so, 11 inches tall each letter, so it's substantial. Very pretty. I cannot believe these guys are still here. Sandy, the only candles you can handle. I know, because it's so easy to just zonk out and fall asleep. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you this sweet little light-up wooden cutout, too. This is, I think I showed you one. We have them in a couple different spots in the store, but again... This is darker down here, so you can see it better. Look how pretty this is. It is um, $38. I love that. Just a dreamy little winter scene. And then this, remember I showed you the, the bell, the ceramic bell in the beginning, and it was two cardinals? This is the snowman one. Those are 24. I just think those are really pretty. There's some of that stone art. The nativity scene is really beautiful. This is probably... Ooh, 14 by ooh, 18, something like that. Really pretty. Okay, friends. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. I think, I think I have to come to the end. I always hate to come to the end because I could really go on with this forever. But I have to check. I have to check. I have some, I have a lot of restocking to do tonight and get ready for, what is today? So today's Wednesday, I have to get ready for the weekend. I've got lots to do tonight, and then it's already 8.30. So 
So did I give get everything? I'm so sorry. I have to check my notes because I feel like I had so many things I wanted to make sure to mention to you tonight. Um, yes, I think I said all of our trivia questions, right? Yes, we talked about Midnight Madness. All right. Yes, we did. So I, I've got so much more I could show you. I have to say, if you, if there's anything, again, that I didn't really focus on, but you want to see more of, like if there's some ornaments that you maybe saw me pass by, just let me know. Like I can pop um, pictures of things in into the comments section tomorrow or tonight. Yet, even if I, I'm going to, I'll look at the comments, but I'm going to, really, I'm going to work on stuff in the store tonight. So I really don't usually look at the comments until I get back home and get hunkered in, or even in the morning if it's really late, because a lot of times I don't get home till pretty late. Oops, so I'm so sorry about that camera work. But um, you can see that we just have a ton of stuff yet, and I always want to remind people again, and I know some of you have utilized this, but if there's just... If you need a delivery or if you need a curbside pickup or whatever, we're happy to work with you in any way we can. And we, all we need is for you to give us a call and let us know what you need. And we're going to try and make it work. So um, we're already in December here, day two of December, plugging along. We are so grateful. We had a, such a successful, fun, small business week. We celebrated it all week long instead of just small business Saturday. So grateful to everybody for all of their support there and just trying to get through this Christmas season like the rest of everybody out there. Oh, I have to make sure to do one last cheers because that's just, <laughs> that's just what we do here. <laughs> and I want to make sure that everybody, well, first of all, here's a cheers. Here's a cheers to everybody. I hope you're all hanging in there okay. Jason and I hear a lot of stories over the counter. We know that there's a lot of stuff we're all struggling with. A lot of people are. But we got to just keep one day at a time, keep laughing together, and um, we'll get through this. Nothing's going to be normal, but everything's going to be the new normal for now until we get back into some sort of um, way things used to be in, you know, in the past. So, um, I don't know really what I'm babbling about, but what I'm trying to say is hang in there. That's what I'm really trying to say. <laughs> I'm trying to say hang in there. And if you need anything that we can help you out with, at least maybe we can lighten a load for you. That's really what I'm trying to say. If it's, you know, the gift giving and you can't get out or you don't want to be out and it's okay. And that's, we've still had people apologizing that they don't really want to come in and please don't don't feel you have to apologize to us ever. Um, we're happy we're happy to for you to stay home safe, but we're happy to be here for you also if you need us to be and that's what we just keep doing, seeing where we're needed and how we can help. So give us a call if you if you if there's something we can do for you 262-397-8689 Cindy. Oh, oh, thank you for listening to me babble. I kind of had a rough, I didn't have a rough day today. I was just, I was just out of sorts today. So I really, really did look forward to getting with my people here today because I always, when I see all you on there, you're all so kind to me and with your fun comments and you just appease me and oblige me and allow me to kind of babble on, Cindy. <laughs> and honestly, I do appreciate that. And I appreciate that everybody keeps coming back and supporting us. And it means everything to us. And, and I just want to say, have a great night. I am definitely going to be back here next Wednesday. And I'm going to have a ton of really great... Yes! Oh my gosh, Joe. You are right. The screaming goat is always the answer to a stressful day. It's right across from the counter. Why didn't I just hit the screaming goat today? I should have hit it. And I didn't have anybody bad today. I had no, I had great customers today when I was in. I had great customers, a great day. Jason too. Oh, thank you, Karen. Thank you for that. Really, truly. It was a great day. I was just out of sorts today. So I really should have hit that darn screaming goat. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do when I, when I sign out here tonight. I'm going to give it a hit. 
Ah, uh, thanks, Dad. Thanks for joining. I'm sorry we haven't been able to do our normal breakfast. I've been busier than normal, and I hate that I haven't been able to do that with you as much, but as soon as we get past the Christmas season, we're going to get back to our normal breakfast. And um, the rest of you, you guys, thank you for everything. Remember, the, fun, the fun, fun bags start tomorrow. I told Jason we were going to start them on Saturday. Uh -uh, I'm starting them tomorrow. <laughs> I just love them so much. I've been working hard on bowing them and we've had other elves helping and you know what? We're going to get them out and that's what, that's the way it's going to be. It's going to make people smile because they make me smile. They make me happy. Just the little things. Thanks everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you next Wednesday here with amazing, amazing um, sales and all the details for our, for our Midnight Madness sales and our Midnight Madness raffles and all of that stuff. And again, even if you're just online, you're going to be able to participate in this stuff too. So I'll, I'll give you the, old, the whole scoop on that next Wednesday. You're not going to miss out on anything. Just join us back here at 7 o'clock next Wednesday. Thank you again, everybody. And I really hope you have a great night and a great rest of your week and weekend. Thank you. Good night. And I can't, and I can't, and I can't get it to end. <laughs> Let's try it again. Hope you have a great rest of your night. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs> All right, see you guys. I'm really going to go this time.